Um, we're just waiting for everybody to come into the webinar at the moment. You can see us all again, all of us happy, smiling faces. And I'm sure Annabelle's got wine in that coffee mug. I'm sure she has. <laughs> Hi, Annabelle. Um, we've just got a few messages popping through as well. So just to give sort of an overview on the chat options, if you've got any questions, please put them in the Q&A tab. Um, it's really impossible when we get, start getting a lot of the chats to be able to read the messages at the end. Um, anything that you want to write to just the panellists, just change, uh, just you know, write to panellists. If you want it to go to panellists and attendees, which will go to everybody in the webinar, then um, yeah, just swap the drop down box. Um, so I think everybody's in at the moment. Um, so just to say, first of all, thank you very much on behalf of my booking rewards for you all coming on again. We've got, um, we've got again, a very, very good turnout of agents. So it's brilliant to see that you are still interested and in wanting to learn um, from your favorite hoteliers that are all um, taking the time out of the schedules to come and speak to you today. Um, and so just to introduce everybody, we've got Claire from Palace Resorts. Hello. Give us a wave. <laughs> We've got Annabelle from Mount Cinnamon in Grenada. Hello. Hello. We have got um, the Professor Patrick from Temptation Cancun Resort, who's actually come in straight from Mexico and he's in one of the rooms at the moment and he's going to be making you a bit jealous with the views. Um, his sidekick Anders sadly isn't in Mexico, <laughs> he's down in London somewhere, but you know, we'll call him Dr. Anders for today. <laughs> Um, and then we've got Ashley from Little Good Harbour and Young Island. So you've got, you've got some great presentations today. So I'm going to hand over. So Claire, over to you, if you can share your screen for me and kick us off. I can indeed. I will try and do that. Oh dear. Hang on. This, all, this never works when you, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got to go to... All this tech stuff, you know, come on. You love it. I've got a problem with Wi-Fi here as well anyway, um, and it won't talk. Nah, it's nearly there. I've got to do something else, haven't I? Slideshow. Uh, yep. Yeah, and I've done slideshow. It's just that I'm on a, um, it's, yeah, it's a different, <laughs> this system I've got, it's, doesn't what it's doing slideshow on my big screen, not on my normal screen, and I can't find that anymore. Um, it's a dinosaur computer. No, it's a no, it's not actually. It's um, a Surface Pro, but it decided I do on these calls that it's not going to duplicate my screens, and now I can't find how. Well, we yes, can see and, that. It's yeah. fine. No, I've, it? It. I've got Let's it. See. There. Done it. I think I've done it, haven't I? You've done it now. Yep. Woohoo! <laughs> Yeehaw! Um, hello, everybody. I'm sure most of you are out in your gardens, which is the beauty, isn't it, of this this uh, zooming that you can be anywhere in your in your property. So it's such a gorgeous day. I hope you're out in your gardens. But thank you so much for joining us. Um, I today just wanted to. Um, concentrate on the Grand at Noon Palace in Cancun for you um, because as you um, probably know it used to be excluded the sales of Thomas Cook so um, some of you haven't been selling it for that long so I thought I'd concentrate on one property for you um, and I'm just going to first of all <clears throat> if the slides go through oh come on Yeah, I'm a, sorry, I've got, despite where I am, and this is not my house, this is, we're house sitting, everything else is great, but the Wi-Fi is not, and now I think I'm frozen. Can you guys still hear me, Sarah? I can hear you and see you, yes. Um, yeah. Just, if you, um, if you come out of that, of the screen, if you want, and just go back to how it was before, if this is a part that's playing up. Well, it worked last time, didn't it? Um, yeah. Ah, there you go. It won't work with, I need to use the mouse rather than, I've sorted it. I don't think that is the next slide, but anyway, we'll go with it, we'll go with it. Um, so, um, in terms of um, incentive programmes with Palace Resorts generally, um, just wanted to um, update you with what we have on offer for you. 
Um, there are two schemes that run side by side. So the first is you can earn cash for every seven night booking you make and um, $70 gets loaded onto a debit card. And then the second incentive is that you also earn nights to stay with us because we obviously want you to come and see the product. Um, and the more that you book, the more rewards you get. So we, we add lots of other benefits these days. It's a revamp program. So please do um, register for the program if you haven't already and ask me if you need any more information. I'll be happy to help you out with that. Um, in terms of um, the products within Cancun and the Riviera Maya, just so that you know, um, guests can stay at one palace resort and enjoy the facilities of all. Resort credit, um, this is one of our most popular add-ons. Um, Palace isn't the, the cheapest product out there, but we have an awful lot of extras and resort credit is definitely one of the most popular. So getting seven nights can benefit from $1,500 credited to their room, which they can use to um, book golf excursions to Chichen Itza, for example, spa treatments, upgraded wines, um, and more and more. We also have um, an amazing free kids and teens promotion. So kids under 18 can stay in their parents' rooms for free. And we just launched um, a two for one in paradise promotion as well, um, which means that anybody booking a room for the remainder of 2020 can get the second room for free. Or if they book 14 nights, they can get seven nights. They, they only pay for seven. So all the tour operators have been um, advised of this new promotion. So please do check in with them. What's Palace all about? Um, family owned um, hotel company with very high end service, really pride ourselves on our food and beverage. And in fact, we have our own production plant in Cancun, which supplies lots of other businesses and hotels as well as Palace Resorts. Everything is very fresh. Within the uh, bedrooms, as, as well as the mini bar, there's also a drinks cabinet with four litre bottles of premium brand spirits, which goes down very well for a cheeky vodka and tonic before dinner. And something else that goes down well, um, not with me, I just need a, desperately need a haircut, but it goes down well with all the girls with long hair that isn't just straight. Um, we have hair straighteners in all the bathrooms as well as all the bath amenities. So, um, it's and the grand, um, we have an awful lot of space there for weddings and there are lots of um, different venues, beach, um, there's a Catholic chapel, really um, specialising in um, the Indian weddings as well. So. Um, Again, contact me for more information about that, but we do have a complimentary wedding package on the go. So coming back to the Grand, um, which is where I want to focus, the transfer time from the airport is only 10 minutes, which is nice and easy. And uh, you probably can't see this very well, depending on the size of your screen, but this is the um, map of Moon Palace and the Grand, which is on the right hand side there in gray, you can see. And again, this is a PDF I can send to anybody that, that would like to, to have one. It's quite useful when you're talking to your clients um, and they start talking about, I want to be in this, that and the other rim block. You know, you know what they're talking about and you can advise where they want to stay. So guests staying at the Grand at Moon Palace have access to Moon Palace Cancun, but not vice versa. Anybody staying at other palace resorts um, can pay a $99 fee to to have access to the facilities at the Grand for the day um, but if you're staying at the Grand you can access the other resorts. <clears throat> um, we um, at the moment seem to be swapping with um, LeBlanc Spa Resort um, for the number one spot on TripAdvisor which is which is good to know. Um, since the Grand opened it has become extremely popular so now that you can all, all sell it please um, do so and I'll just give you a bit more information on, on what there is to sell. 
Um, we have installed, this is sort of breaking news really, we've installed um, a seaweed barrier. So I'm sure you're all very familiar with the problems with the sargassum seaweed um, that arrives between April and October. And uh, we have now enclosed the whole of the beach at the Grand and Moon Palace with a, um, a floating barrier to hold back, hold back the seaweed, which is going to be collected by boats. Not sure what they're doing with it after they collect it, <laughs> but it will mean that the beach, our beach is going to be seaweed free, which is only good news. Um, there are over a thousand bedrooms at the Grand, so people sort of tend to visualise a very high rise product, but um, Moon Palace in the Grand is set over 123 acres and the gardens are very lushly landscaped. And these are, this is one of the room blocks you can see there, it's only three storeys high, so that's as high as the product goes. This is the beach at Moon Palace Grand. Non-motorised, all sports are included in the all-inclusive product, so that means paddleboarding, sailing, kayaking. And there are a total of nine pools, uh, very different from Moon Palace, which has these huge uh, free-flowing, free-form pools. Um, at the Grand, there are nine different pools. This is the Olympic pool. Um, and what two of those pools are adults only. This is the unique day club for adults. This tends to be party central. One of the other pools with a swim up bar you can see there. And this is the wellness pool with jacuzzis right on the beach. One of the main attractions at the Grand is the water park. So all part of the all-inclusive again, slides and lazy rivers flow riders, surf simulator and a wave pool and right in the middle of the park is the kids playroom so um, it's very very popular with families. The bedrooms at the Grand are significantly bigger than those at Moon Palace and they're brand newish you know, a couple of years um, ago. Um, you can see there there is plenty of space so if you're benefiting from having three kids and teens in the bedroom, there is plenty of space for those four nearly adults. Um, also quite a big area outside with the day bed. And there's the double jacuzzi. So each room has a double jacuzzi and then a separate marble bathroom with walk-in shower. Now, these are the Fanny Deluxe Suites. They're the only, apart from the presidential suites, the only interconnecting rooms that we have um, within the palace product and they take up to six. You don't actually have to have any children in these rooms but with the free kids and teens promotion um, you could have up to five children actually or, or six uh, a family with four children and get four of those for free which is pretty good going. So the family, the second bedroom has two double beds um, beach toys, mini bathrobe and slippers, uh, L'Oreal Kids shampoo and an Xbox and obviously no drinks cabinet and alcohol in the mini bar. There are also swim up suites at the Grand. And this is what everybody talks about really. One of the product managers that you, you guys um, that are on the call with me um, will know very well has said to me um, that the difference between the Grand and a lot of the other hotels that he he contracts is that the restaurants are like a proper rest they're not like hotel restaurants they feel as if you're in a, a London restaurant for instance which is quite a nice accolade and there are a total of 11 restaurants to choose from so this is the all day this is the breakfast restaurant the owners are actually of Lebanese descent so there's a wonderful Lebanese restaurant Chinese Italian steakhouse. Only a few of them um, require reservations. And as if so, a client staying for two weeks can go for go to a different restaurant every day easily because they also have the access to Moon Palace Cancun, which includes the new Indian restaurant, which I have sampled and it's very good. Bar wise, plenty of choice there. This is a hidden Speakeasy bar, which is behind a bookcase, um, a nod back to the prohibition times in the States. And the spa 
has plenty of treatment rooms for people using their resort credit to have spa treatments. The playroom, very, very popular with the kids and it includes bumper cars, laser golf, jungle gyms, you name it, they got it. And then there's also a lounge for the teens. And I think that's why pe most people tend to book uh, Moon Palace or the Grand is the, the variety of um, facilities for the whole family, even a bowling alley and the 27 hole Jack Nicholas signature course at Moon Palace and two more. Again, there's lots of um, different programs for the golfers. So uh, let me know if you need more information there. A nightclub. I'm, I was going fasting because I have no idea how long I was taking. So <laughs> I think I'm within my 10 minutes. Sarah, nod <laughs> or not. I hope you 10 minutes. But um, that's uh, the end of my presentation. This is just a view um, down to the the beach at the Grand. Please do, I'm sorry I had to dip out of this call because for some reason today's gone crazy with Zooms. <laughs> and um, yeah, please do email me or contact me um, through, through this, um, my, um, my booking rewards, and I'll be happy to supply you with any more information that you need. Thank Bye, you. Guys. Have a good day. Thank you. Enjoy your next um, conference call. <laughs> okay, Annabelle, um, over to you. If you can tell us all about Mount Cinnamon in Grenada, please. Oh, I thought I, I thought I cut everybody off then. You nearly <laughs> did. Oh, hang on, Annabelle. Hang on. You, I need to unmute you. Um, myself. There we go. There you go. Okay. Can you all see the screen? Um, not yet. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Hold on. Let me start again. Move on. Sorry. Let me start again. How do I get you back up? So share screen. Yeah, perfect. Is that all right? Can you see that now? Yeah. Yeah, brilliant. Okay. Um, hi, everybody. Um, I was going to say it's lovely to see you all. Sadly, I can't see you all, but um, I hope uh, you're having a lovely day. And thank you for coming to watch this presentation uh, when it is such a gorgeous day outside. Um, my name is Annabelle Griffin, and I have a little representation company called Le Petit Monde. And today I'm going to talk to you about a beautiful little boutique property called Mount Cinnamon in Grenada. It's, uh, it's a very different size to one that Claire's just shown you now. Uh, this little property has just got 37 uh, villas and suites and it sits on the most amazing beach called Grand Anse Beach uh, in Grenada, which as you can see from pictures is really stunning. Um, Grenada is just a little island in the Caribbean and if you look at this map you can see on the bottom left hand corner uh, right at the bottom there's the airport um, and in between the airport and the capital St George's is where Grand Anse beaches and where Mount Cinnamon is situated which is literally a sort of 15 minute drive from the airport so it's really easy to get to um, from Grenada Airport. So this is the little property sitting on a beautiful hillside. All the rooms have amazing sea views and it's situated in really, really pretty gardens. And all the rooms have such an amazing view. And this is over to even St. George's, the capital as well, that you can see right across the bay, which is stunning. Uh, on, on this little resort, we have two restaurants. Uh, this is Savvy's, which is the beachfront restaurant, which has the most amazing uh, salads and fish and um, cocktails. So it's a lovely place to reside and relax. 
and just enjoy your holiday. Um, on the beach, we also have a dive centre. We have a lot of complimentary non-motorised water, non water sports. Um, so it's a, it's a really lovely little place to be. As you can see, it's really lush and really, really beautiful. And the beach, I really have to say, I think is one of the best beaches in the world. It's just absolutely glorious with huge white soft sand and very clear sea. So very safe, brilliant for families, brilliant for couples, um, absolutely gorgeous. So as I've mentioned earlier, this property just has 37 villas and suites, and it's got an assortment of one, two and three bedroom villas all the villas have um, their own kitchens. So you have a fully uh, equipped kitchen, which is great, uh, particularly for families. Um, there is a supermarket down the road from Mount Cinnamon. So if you want to sort of cook yourselves, you can do. We do have two lovely restaurants, so you don't need to cook at all. And I have to say that the restaurants on the island of Grenada are amazing. So you have got lots of choice to go out for dinner. Um, Generally, we'd recommend to book this property on half board, um, but you can book on all inclusive if you wish to, or B and B as well. Um, this is one of the sort of bigger villas. This is the Cinnamon Heights villa, which has got three bedrooms and its own private pool, which is really lovely. And here are some of the interior design inside, which is very cool and calm and collected, and amazing views again. Of the beach in St George's and then we've just got um, some cinnamon sweets um, we've just actually opened six more cinnamon sweets in January um, and these are brilliant these are our lead in room category and they're all quite contemporary they've got beautiful sitting room a beautiful um, bathroom and a beautiful bedroom area again all with amazing views and I think a really good price point for clients so you're looking at starting at about 400 US net a night as a lead in room category which is I think really good value for uh, a property that's on the most um, idyllic island with amazing views and um, and really brand new accommodation as well this is the uh, main dining room area which is open for breakfast lunch and dinner the food is really fantastic. They've got a brilliant experienced chef. Um, and I really would uh, recommend, you know, having dinner here a few nights a week as well. Um, they have lovely nights with jazz and steel bands. And, and really the entertainment is fantastic. But you really need to be here on a Friday night. On a Friday night, they have a lovely beach bonfire, uh, dancers, steel band, and a brilliant barbecue. And this is all on the beach, and it's really good fun. So I would really recommend um, doing that as well. So um, from, from this little hotel, you can just sit and enjoy your cocktail, which I think we'd all really rather be doing right at this moment in time. Or you can also play tennis. Um, we've got a lovely tennis court. We've got a croquet pitch. Um, we've got yoga um, classes every day. We have a fully equipped gym. We have a lovely spa. We have um, massages on the beach. So it's very relaxed, very chilled out, very easygoing. Um, for kids, we have um, a relationship with the Montessori School in on the island, and they organize a lot of activities for children during all the holidays um, and we also have giant chess and volleyball um, as well so there's lots of different activities for the kids to to enjoy um, at the water sports school we have uh, kayaking paddle boarding hobby cats um, so again we have brilliant water sports instructors that can show the kids how to sort of participate in all of these wonderful sports and adults alike too so it really is really really lovely um this is st george's again um it's literally 15 minutes drive from st george's and i really would recommend going out for dinner this at the capital here there's some lovely restaurants and it really is beautiful um i'd also recommend hiring a car and driving around the island in the north they've got amazing beautiful tropical rainforests and lovely waterfalls and they've also got uh, amazing diving with lots of shipwrecks beautiful coral um and sculpture parks as well. I think uh, Mount Cinnamon is a brilliant place for divers. Um, and we've got a brilliant dive center right on the beach, uh, all the latest equipment and can really uh, train you if you've not got a paddy. Um, and if you're really experienced, we can also tailor make the dives uh, for experienced divers as well. 
So if, uh, if you are interested, we've got some really super offers at the moment. Uh, this one is particularly special. We've called it Honouring Our Heroes. Uh, and this is really in this COVID-19 climate as a big thank you to all the essential key workers. Whoopsie daisy. Sorry about that. I've lost my presentation. We'll go back there. Um, so yes, going back to this wonderful package called Honouring Our Heroes, this is to really say a big thank you to all the key workers, all the NHS staff, the care workers, the delivery persons, the pharmacists, the cleaning staff, security staff, supermarket workers, really to just say a big thank you. Um, we're offering a 40% discount at Mount Cinnamon um, with a complimentary half board and um, as well as a rum tasting and a lovely signature uh, complimentary massage as well as uh, participation in all the uh, water sports as well. Um, so please uh, don't hesitate to reach out to uh, your preferred tour operator who has this packet. I've also just literally sent it out to our database of agents. So if there are any agents on, um, on this presentation who would like me to, to send this to you, um, please let, uh, let us know and I will happily do that. Um, we also have a really good 40% discount offer for non-key workers and just um, everybody in, in the UK market. So again, we'd be very happy to give you that. Um, this offer is running up to the 20th of December, 2020. Um, and at the moment, Grenada isn't quite open yet. We're waiting for some opening dates. Uh, like the rest of the Caribbean, it's been very untouched by COVID-19. So I think the Caribbean is probably one of the safest places to go right now. Um, and we really, you know, would recommend it. Our health and safety precautions at the hotel are brilliant. Um, it's only a boutique property and with villas and suites. So everything is incredibly spacious and well spaced out. Um, so it's a really great property to go to when, um, when the island opens again. Um, so if you have any questions, I look forward to answering them and thank you um, very much. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Annabelle. Um, so your email address is on here because we just had a couple of agents that are asking if they can have the copy of the um, flyer showing the um, NHS workers. So you. yeah, you can email Annabelle at um So if you can just all take that down. Yes, Annabelle at leputti-mond.com. Um, and again, we've um, also got a, a little um, digital marketing flyer for all the agents that they can use on this offer to send out and post on social media and everything else that we've designed. So hopefully it makes it easier for everybody in this really busy time um, as well. Thank you. Sarah. Thank you. Thank you, Annabelle. That was fantastic. Um, so now we move over to Patrick um, and Anders. So Patrick, Mr. Temptation. Well, could you just Temptation Rewards Agents. We hope that you're safe and your family is back home. Uh, my name is Patrick Luzer. I'm the general manager of Temptation uh, Cancun Resort, which is the playground for grown-ups. I took this opportunity to be live, to be with you, and just to show you a little bit of our beautiful views here from our penthouse, just to say hello. Oh. <laughs> stay home and say, oh my goodness. You need to go and have fun and have party. Well, this is the coolest pool. You see the ladies pool. We won the coolest pool worldwide just recently one of the awards and well let's come to what we want to sell and what we want to do is I'm also inviting you to come and party with us uh, so I'm giving away three three nights three three nights for the first agent uh, who locked their bookings definitely a unique opportunity um, and if you come, I also have a present for you. We have those new masks. And we all want to have a little fun, which is all about in our playground for grown-ups for 21 plus. Um, also, this means you have to do is selling, keep us selling and booking temptation and you can come and join us for a week or more stay. So earn points 
So party with us. And now coming to the system is your one booking of seven nights or more, you will win one point. So in, in exchanging the points, um, for example, one point per booking in the following room categories, we have the trendy garden view, the trendy ocean view, the plush jacuzzi room, seduction beachfront, and you win one point. Now exchanging those points, you can either cash it in or you can actually have one night free for two in a garden view. Or if you want to sell us a little bit more, which is a bash, a little bit upgrading uh, to a lush tower or master suite, uh, you can have two points. Um, and definitely two points is one night free for two in a bash tower, ocean view. Now taking friends with you, uh, definitely more points to earn, upgrading more points to earn. And very important here is if you're not registered as yet, it's www.temptationrewards.co.uk and lock those bookings. And we hope to see you soon. Stay safe. I'm the general manager. I will send you our Facebook and Instagram of our temptation experience right now through the chat. And also I am as a general manager, I'm always on the floor talking to my customers, exceeding individual expectations, listen to them, to their concerns, ensuring that my staff is happy, automatically the guest is happy. Patrick, can we see the room? Sorry? Can we see the room? You're in the penthouse, can we see it? Of course, well, here we go. This is the penthouse, it's a 200 square meter room with a 180 degree outside terrace. Getting into All the room has the modern digital roll-ups. So we open the window with roll-ups. It go electrically. The room is with a modern senior system where you can measure your own temperature, a lightning system. And also what we do is we love to personalize services. Welcome to Temptation. This is something unique and I like to exceed customers expectations. Their individual expectations. Trust me, it's not easy to make everybody happy, but trying is not the least. And I use this for anniversary. I use this for birthday to make them happy. And you can imagine when you come in and you have something on this on your bed, happy anniversary, happy birthday is definitely something where you will be surprised. And here we come to one of our bathrooms. Nice top, double, and obviously there's another bathroom on this side. Let me take this opportunity as I'm walking around already. Let me see if I show you one of the bash because this is the penthouse. Now I'm going to one of our bash rooms and not nonetheless see at this beautiful view we have walking through our hotel at the tower. You see whole Cancun. And definitely when you see the sunrise or the sunset, you will never forget. Also it's important to mention we are actually keeping our hotel spirit alive. Let me just open the screen. So this is one of our bash tower rooms, bash category. If you see all this modern design by the recognized designer Karim Rashid, definitely something unique. Here we go. Now I want to take a shower, the sensual shower. Going down, we have those unique cupboards, you just press bing, and it opens. It's every hotel. You have your safety box, you have your iron, obviously we have a hair dryer, and also if you want to iron your hair, you can iron your hair too. So you, not, you need to go as an adult to palace. You can come to Cancun. Temptation, okay? <laughs> so let's see. 
All the rooms have a stunning, in the tower you have a stunning ocean view. Up there you see our rooftop. The sky is definitely a unique feature. And as I mentioned before, we, we went live broadcasting to keep our guests always recognizing us. So every Monday we have wellness at 11 a.m. Cancun time. So you can look at 2 p.m. at Temptation Experience. I will send you the link and you can see our live videos. And on Friday, definitely, what you have to see is the sunset from our sky rooftop. That's just something amazing. And Saturday, as we have seven theme nights, every night we have a different party theme. We have superhero, superhero ways, we have devils and angels, we have lingerie, and obviously the guests dress up for it and get ready to party. We are a party hotel. Obviously not just party, also we have a quiet area where you can relax, but our main point is party, and we hope to see you soon and have fun. Thank you very much for your attention. Stay safe, take care. We love you all and see you soon. Let me just put it on. <laughs> Perfect, thank you, Patrick. So I'm, I'm from AMG. We represent Temptation in the European market. Uh, just to show you some more information on Temptation, I'll just show you this little PowerPoint. So first of all, just show a video to give you an outline of the result. So as you can see, Temptation is all about colour, fun and letting your hair down. It's designed to be a modern, free-spirited hotel and what sets us apart is our theme nights and daily activities. So our gamekeepers will offer all activities to all guests every day and there's a different theme for every night of the week from superheroes to schoolgirls and nerds. This is our trendy garden view. This is our basic room type. I see very spacious, open, modern and colourful. And our main feature is our tower. So the tower by Temptation was opened in 2017 and people in the tower get various added values and extras to their stay, including VIP check-in checkout, a swag bag full of surprises, um, the Sky 3.5 bar with daily access and a cocktail party once a week. You also get exclusive access to Sea Flirt restaurant for breakfast and many more. This is Bash Tower Ocean View our leading room type in the Bash Tower. And there's Sky 3.5 bar, where you get daily access to if you're in the tower. As I was saying, there's loads of daytime activities, mainly in the sexy pool, the one that Patrick showed you earlier. There's daily activities and nightly activities all centered around the main area and the sexy pool. But if you want to get away from it all, we also have a prime stretch of beachfront and a quiet pool. So you can go there, chill out, catch some sun and have a drink if you want to get away from it all for a couple of hours or a day. So what sets us apart of Temptation is our theme nights and theme months. As you can see, we have a different theme for every single day. And we also have set theme months, including Summerfest. When Temptation reopens on the 10th of June, we'll be having Summerfest. So ideal for all your guests to go to, let their hair down, have a drink and forget all the bad stuff that's happened. There's some of our theme nights, let it glow. We have a white night, lingerie night. So as here, everyone gets involved, has fun, everyone gets together and has a laugh. At Temptation, as well as we were partying, 
Rules offer gourmet bars and restaurants. This is Sea Flirt, offering some of the best seafood in the Caribbean. And you also have access to this restaurant for breakfast, if you're staying in the tower. We also have various other restaurants, including Mexican, Asian, a grill. We have seven restaurants in total. And this is the bash bar and the sports bar. So the bash bar is where all the nightly activities center around. We offer all the top shelf spirits you would expect from a hotel of its nature. We also offer a top class spa and fitness center and gym. So just to recap, uh, Temptation is a unique concept hotel for 21 and overs. We offer loads of daytime activities, evening entertainment, and we have two pools, one quiet pool and one sexy pool. We offer 24 hour domestic beverages. And then just to recap, so Temptation Rewards, log your bookings, one point is 10 pound, or you can exchange it into a free night stay. And then two points, you can exchange to stay in a bash tower. And the website is temptationrewards.co.uk. After today's webinar, we'll be giving away three free nights for one lucky agent who signed up to the Temptation Rewards. We'll be announcing the winner tomorrow at 12 o'clock on my Book and Rewards Facebook page. Any questions after the webinar, please give me an email. My email address is agents at amgltd.biz. I said thank you very much over to you Sarah. No oh, thank you very much so yeah just to recap you've got to be on um, signed up to temptationrewards.co.uk um, and you've got to be have been on the webinar today and one lucky winner will receive the three nights so without further ado Ashley thank you so much for your patience um, it's over to you now the audience is all yours so Ashley um, if you can share your screen and tell us all about it Absolutely. Um, hi everybody, thank you so much for joining. Um, I've got the greatest pleasure of talking about two of our uh, properties today. Um, so I'm just going to try and get this all up and ready. So hopefully everyone can see my screen. Um, as I mentioned, uh, hang on a second, just bear with me. So um, as I mentioned, I'm going to be talking about two of our amazing properties. So my name is Ashley. I am the sales and marketing manager for um, a company called Essential Detail. We represent nine luxury hotels across the Caribbean. Um, and I'm going to be talking about two of our gorgeous properties, Little Good Harbour, which is in Barbados, and Young Island, which is um, in the Grenadines. So it gives me great pleasure to start off with um, Barbados. So here he is. Can't see you. Do you see now? No. Oh, good start. Good start. Bear with me a second. You see me, Sarah? No. Your video has gone off, which is what happened yesterday when you was doing a presentation. But then the, um, yeah, now I can see. Perfect. Sorry about that. You good. Okay, so Little Good Harbour, we'll start all over again. So Little Good Harbour um, is our superb all suite hotel. And it's set amongst lush tropical gardens with direct beach access. Um, and it's actually situated in a quiet fishing village on the northwest coast of Barbados. Um, and this part really kind of showcases the wonders and the history of what I would say of old Barbados. Um, which is great. Um, there's a historic aspect of Little Good Harbour as well, um, which I think brings a lot of appeal to this property. Um, it's actually an original 17th century fort, which actually has been carefully and tastefully re uh, restored to create obviously the restaurant and the bar area, as well as two of the hotel's luxury suites. Um, so that's obviously um, in the nature of the history. So a couple of images there you can see there and, and you know, kind of where we are today. So let's talk about um, the accommodation. So it's an all suite hotel with 20 luxury villas and suites, um, which compromise of six three bedroom vineyard suites, one three bedroom fort suite, one two bedroom fort suite, three two bedroom suites and um, nine one bedroom villa suites. So we've got something there for everyone. Um, and the exciting news as well is the two bedroom fort suite has actually recently been um, completely refurbished and it's absolutely stunning. 
So our suites are really kind of delightful and designed as a Caribbean style throughout all of our cottages. Um, and it keeps in line with like the surroundings um, that we'll come across over the, uh, the next few minutes. So let's start with the one and two bedroom garden suites. Um, these are villa style cottages split on two levels with a living room and a kitchen with a patio downstairs and the bedroom and the bathroom upstairs. Now with the two bedroom, um, one bedroom will be up on the, the uh, second um, uh, tier with the second bedroom being off of the living room, which is downstairs. Um, these rooms are kind of um, set across a little minor road uh, within the gardens um, of the property as well. So absolutely stunning. So let's talk about the newly refurbished, as I mentioned, two bedroom ocean fort suite. Um, this was refurbished in 2017. And as you can see, it's decorated with a tropical decor, gorgeous views of the Caribbean Sea, and both bedrooms cater for an ensuite with king beds. Uh, this suite is actually located on the upper level above the restaurants, so actually within the fort itself. Um, and it's got that, obviously, um, is sat right on the water's edge, so directly looking over the beach. So I guarantee, like, this room is, as you can see from the images, absolutely stunning. So the, the three-bedroom fort suite, again, situated in the, the fort itself. Um, this is a spacious beachfront suite um, and is adjacent to the restaurant. And again, as I mentioned, a part of the original fort building as well. Three bedroom vines, uh, vineyard suite. So this here, we've got six of these uh, beautiful properties. Um, these are three new buildings which are situated on the upper terrace of the gardens. Um, these suites offer a high, kind of a European elegance, I would say, with a traditional Caribbean design. Um, it's got some great li um, living space, um, hardwood polished floors um, and spacious patios as well. So during your stay, why not take a little visit to the little spa, kind of relax and unwind. We offer relaxing treatments from a sand, sea scrub, massage therapies and body wraps. Um, so it really is kind of a perfect way to either start your day or even finish your day as well. So this is some images of the gardens where the villas are situated and they really are absolutely stunning. So we can't talk about Little Good Harbour without talking about the famous fish pots. So this restaurant is world famous. Um, it's an iconic restaurant opened around about 17 years ago um, and recently refurbished the restaurant oozes class along with beautiful ambience. And that's without even talking about the food, which is absolutely world class. This beautiful oceanfront restaurant is considered to be met by many within Barbados to be one of the leading restaurants. Um, and I definitely would recommend if you don't stay with us at Little Good Harbour that you do take a visit up at the restaurant because it's absolutely amazing. There you go, some images there of the newly refurbished restaurant. Look at those views, absolutely incredible. There you go, the jetty out. So from that main picture there, you can see the original fort. Um, and above that, you'll see obviously the two bedroom suite and then the jetty out to the ocean with the beach. So again, beautiful. Weddings. So obviously if you fancy a wedding set in a historical fort, this is the perfect place to kind of go and get married. Set on a pristine white um, set of beach, um, close to the, um, uh, the Caribbean Sea with the fish pot providing a magical backdrop. Um, our wedding ceremonies, ceremonies are something to be spoken about. Um, we can cater for the most intimate um, celebration, which can be based around two, all the way up to kind of lavish, extravagant events um, for over 100 people. So definitely worth looking into. So just to talk about some offers that we've got, our offers are bookable for very many um, luxury tour operators or direct with the hotel. So if you want any information around this, please do let me know. I can point you in the direction or get, even kind of get this booking made up for you. Um, book your 2020 autumn and winter holiday and we can save 40% discount of the cost of your accommodation. So an absolutely incredible offer we've got there as well. Couple of offers there, obviously I am limited on time so I can't dive right into those, but any information again you guys kind of want, please let me know. But again, we've got some great um, autumn booking um, offers, winter booking offers, and as well obviously talking about 2021 as well. So that's Little Good Harbour. I'm now gonna switch screens and share with you Young Islands. 
So can everyone still see my screen? Sarah, can you still see the screen? Brilliant, okay, so Young Island. So this property here is our all-inclusive property set in the beautiful Grenadines. Um, it creates the atmosphere of a true Caribbean holiday. Um, it's set on 13 acres of its own private island away from the stresses and strains of everyday life. Um, the history around this I actually think is so lovely. Um, over 300 years ago, tradition tells us that um, Caribbean chief um, Joseph um, spotted a stallion horse that belonged to Sir William, who was actually the British governor at the time. Um, and he really greatly admi uh, admired this horse and actually wanted to own it. Um, and the response was, if you desire it, Sir William, um, to the chef, readily accepted the horse in exchange for the island, which is now become Young Island. Um, so a really great bit, um, part of history there around this beautiful um, kind of 13 acre island. So when arriving into St Vincent, you will take a five minute ferry ride to absolute paradise. So this is the ferry here. You'll be greeted by our wonderful staff along with a cool refreshment. So let's talk about the stunning accommodation. Young Island has 29 rooms and suites set in charming wood frame cottages and these are scattered along the island. They are furnished um, highly, highly with a ceiling fan, mini fridge, open air garden shower and a private terrace. Our superior cottages are settled, nestled near the beach or on the low hillside, um, whilst our deluxe cottages come with sea views and private patios and they're set within the middle of the hillside as well. That hammock looks so appealing right now, it really does. We also have some beautiful suites located on the island. We have our luxury suite with plunge pool, which is located on the hillside overlooking the Caribbean Sea. These suites come with um, a large terrace and a private gazebo as well. And then my favorite without talking about it, it's called the Devonette Suite, which is a two bedroom suite located on the top of the hillside with its own garden. This suite is spacious, it's got a um, kitchen, a split level terrace, um, small infinity um, pool as well, and views across the ocean. Um, it also has a private yard with deck chairs, umbrellas, and a hammock. It really is absolutely stunning. So we mentioned this is an all-inclusive property. Um, so let's look at the dining whilst you're staying there. We are all-inclusive, as I mentioned, and so your clients don't need to carry their wallet anywhere. Our dining experience is second to none. Our dishes are well um, are featured from our local cuisine and um, host freshly caught fish and lobster, um, including fresh fruit, fruits and vegetables from um, all over kind of the, the, the grenadines. So they all locally produce, which is really something special. Also throughout um, your stay, um, there's not forgetting, we have a freshly uh, baked bread on uh, the island itself. We've got over six different flavors um, and they range from banana, coconut, up to cinnamon. So definitely worth indulging with those carbs while you're, while you're away. Throughout the stay, obviously your guests can enjoy the many trails, the gardens that we've got throughout. Um, I really would recommend it. It's surrounded by the crystal waters of the Caribbean Sea, so it's definitely worth a stroll. And also not forgetting the tennis courts and our lagoon uh, pool. Our beach on the island will allow your clients also to relax in paradise while sipping on a drink from our coconut bar. Um, we've also got some kind of um, beds there along with some hammocks as well. So pure paradise if you ask me. Uh, spa. So again, if you want to start the day kind of with a relaxing um, massage, body wrap, etc., or even finish the day off like that, you can visit our spa where a lot of our treatments are infused by the botanicals of the island as well. So definitely worth a visit as well. Our set and sale, uh, sale uh, packages. Um, if this doesn't win you over, I don't know what does. Um, while staying um, with us here at uh, Young Island, you can actually do also a sale and stay package. Uh, this will allow your guests to actually see the rest of the Grenadines um, whilst they're out and about. Uh, they'll get to see islands like Must uh, Mustique, um, Beckway. So this is something that you 
um, kind of want your client to kind of visit and do, I definitely recommend this. Um, and as you'll see, as we've got a couple stay uh, package there, Again, this can be booked direct with um, various different tour operators or direct with the hotel as well. Or just drop me um, or my colleagues a line and we can absolutely help you and point you in the direction. We've also got some winter 2021 and summer 21 packages, again, with a spa voucher as well. Um, I just want to touch on both of the properties, um, very much kind of following on from what Annabelle said uh, with the COVID aspect. Um, we are just finalising dates, etc. cetera. Um, but the Caribbean has kind of um, been a place of um, rescue, really. Um, definitely not um, been hit as much as the rest of the world has. Um, it's idyllic. It's still absolutely incredible. And I really would encourage your, your guests to go here. Um, being both boutique properties, um, you can kind of still keep that distance away from people if you still want that remoteness. Um, it really does cater for that. So I definitely would bear this in mind, guys. Um, and then before wrapping up, becoming an ED agent. So what's in it for you? Um, invitations to our essential detail fan trips. We run fan trips, obviously once we're all up and running um, over the course of, uh, uh, of the year where you get to see all of our nine properties. We offer free nights, our come and stay program. We also offer vouchers, etc. cetera. Um, and also for your clients, any bookings you guys make, send us an email. We will make sure a bottle of wine with a note from you is in the room for your guests when they arrive, which is a nice little touch as well. And then not forgetting, please, if you want any information on our properties, visit our website, essentialdetail.co.uk. You can get maps, you can get guides, you can see videos, and you can share this contact with, uh, content with your guests. Um, Sarah's got all of my details, but if anyone's got any questions, please do not hesitate to ask. Um, and that's it from me. Amazing. Thank you very much. That was fantastic. Um, great to hear um, again about two different destinations. Um, so we've got a couple of questions and answers that have come through. Um, we've been answering quite a few on chat as we've gone along. Um, so Marguerite has asked, how are the results adapting restaurants, bars, pools, etc. for social distancing under the current climate? Um, so Annabelle, um, I know you covered it based briefly on your, on your session. Could you just recap i mean you have the villas so it's it's very easy uh, you're on mute oh, thank you um yes of course i think um we're still waiting for the complete protocol but having spoken with the general manager of the hotel i know that um you know they'll be looking at things like obviously all the staff wearing face masks, um, possibly testing all the staff uh, for COVID-19 regularly. Um, it, the villas are fairly spacious um, and independent from each other. So um, I think the way the property is laid out is really conducive to um, social distancing. And again, they will make sure that uh, the social distancing with the tables and in both the restaurants as well. And just the, obviously take, will be totally on top of all the cleanliness and the hygiene that everybody um, would expect at a, a, you know, a luxury property. So um, they've got a brilliant general manager. He's called Mark Kitchen. Um, he's been the general manager for about five years now, and he's been in the industry for a good 20. So he's really on top of things. And again, they'll get protocols you know on islands as well that they will have to follow and in Grenada I'm sure with the airport and transfers and and restaurants and bars and all of that will all be included um, so yes it will be uh, I think as we mentioned also with the Caribbean and certainly Grenada they've really had very few um, outbreaks of COVID on the island. Um, they've all been in complete lockdown and shutdown. They're still in sort of lockdown at the moment, really, um, for hotels and, and, and things like that. So, um, and gradually opening up just like all markets. So I hope, uh, and they've sort of had a staggered approach again, like all markets. So uh, they very much managed to contain it. Um, and and, and it, I would say it's uh, much safer to go uh, than most places at the moment. I hope that helps. Brilliant, thank you. And Patrick, um, again, I know you covered quite a lot on the presentation, um, but just in a really quick summary, uh, just to just to cap it off for us. Uh, 
Good morning, good afternoon again. Uh, definitely, uh, we have uh, strict protocols, which, which are guidelines from the, wealth, the World Health Organization, the, the national, the regional uh, administration, government, uh, tourism board, and obviously, I'm German. Hygiene and sanitation for me was always top priority. Health and safety for our guests is top. So what does it mean for me is very important that my staff, for example, entering in, in our property have to be fill out as questionnaire before arriving to work, how they feel, how their family members feel, some certain quick questions which they have to send and that will be arrived to our HR department and prevention team before they start working. Once they arrive on property, the temperature will be taken. They have to wear obligated mask and they have hand sanitized and also the, we have maps of uh, sanitation before they enter into the property to ensure that safety is for our guests uh, uh, there. Also in regards to our customers, I know they will fly, they will be checked, they will be screened before getting even on the airplane, but still we have to follow protocol and ensure for everybody, for staff and for other guests, that also this, the, the guest is not required to wear a mask. It's not obligated. We have uh, kits available and temperature will be taken a check-in. That's definitely a go. Uh, we were thinking about, and I was asking certain friends, I, I'm 25 years in this industry and I, I know a lot of people in the world and we were thinking about COVID tests. To be honest, the problem is once you had this virus, it is really always in your body. So you will have antibodies, that means making any test, you will be positive, but you might not have any symptoms anymore. So any test makes no sense. So at the end of the story, taking temperature during arriving and during the stay, obviously as the most important is social distancing, 1.5 meters, six feet. Uh, we have a lot of, uh, we call it sexy sanitized protocols. So you're sexy and you're sanitized. What does it mean? You have signs everywhere um that you have to maintain social distancing in our restaurants we have to keep measurements guidelines like everywhere in the world we have to have the distance of the tables and um, obviously it will reduce your capacity of the restaurants to 55 percent but still we have seven restaurants available so there will be no struggles of course in push times we have beepers where the guests don't have to wait they can still have a drink once the room is ready and once the the, the um the table is ready, they don't have to wait, they can have a drink. So we, we always, and I must tell you something, and that's something very important to recognize. We always cared about health and safety. We always had quality HACCP manager audits internally and very strict externally. We have crystal international standards audits, room check, food check, whatever check you can imagine. And also we have distinctive age. We always have cared about our guests and our staff. That's nothing new for our industry. Obviously, Thank COVID, you. extension, social distancing. Brilliant. Thank you, Patrick. And Ashley, just quickly over to you. Um, I would presume it's similar because I think all hotels seem to be doing exactly the same sort of thing. Have you got anything extra to add? No, just really obviously coming from a stance, we are kind of boutique, we are small, um, it's very much kind of a one-on-one -on -one, um, with our clients and, and we will absolutely, like everybody else, carry out protocols um, to a higher standard, sanitization, uh, regular uh, temperature checks, everything, I'm reiterating everything that everyone else is saying. So um, yeah, we, we have our, our, you know, our clients at the, the forefront of everything, very much. Brilliant. It's governed by the tourist boards, and by the tourist boards anyway, the governments issue it. The tourist boards, um, you know, it, it's, it just goes down and everybody has to follow the same, a very similar protocol anyway. So thank you very much, guys. Um, we've got one more question for, um, for Patrick. Um, when is Temptation opening again, please? We open on the 10th of June. And I have already a 40% average occupancy. So who wants to join? want to live their life and not be close somewhere in their room and hiding the biggest the biggest virus is the fear of the people simple as that so come enjoy have party see you at temptation the 10th of june thank you for your attention 
Brilliant. And that is it. We've just, we've got another question from Denise, but it's about information on an offer. I'm not sure which offer you mean, Denise. So you've got all the contact details of all the hoteliers. So if you just email them directly, um, and that is it from me. Um, just really, really quickly, because I'm conscious of the time, don't forget, you log every single Caribbean booking that you make on mycaribbeanrewards.co.uk and every single week, one agent will win £50. Um, if it's part of any other programme as well, it automatically matches over so for example you've got the Grenada tourist board which have the reward program you've got Jamaica tourist board so it automatically maps over onto, onto their programs as well so whatever rewards they're giving away you get that also so keep logging your bookings and um, thank you for your support um, it means a lot to all the hoteliers um, you know this is why they're here for you guys and um, you know it, it says a lot the, the rewarding you they're talking to you um, you know they want you to send the bookings but they're also happy to help with anything extra that you need in order to get the bookings. so use them use and abuse them so thank you guys thank you very much for coming on today um, so from me thank you and I will see you next week on the Caribbean Corner so thank you very much thank you bye, bye.